Hi, what do you what here? Welcome back to Williams Martini Racing here on um, Motorsport Manager. Now we call the Martini Manager, then that would be a completely different game. Um, possibly a lot more fun at the start and a little bit more. Hey, I've had too many martinis towards the end. Um, that was meant to be an impression of me being drunk. Don't drink martinis, wouldn't know. Uh, anyway, um, we are uh, two thirds of the way through race season. It is. Um, not so tight at the top of the drivers, but it is relatively tight at the top of the constructors. Now, Vettel has been on absolutely amazing form, winning six and finishing third in the last, uh, well, actually, winning six, finishing second and then third in the last eight races. Uh, there's also a fourth there as well. Um, it looks pretty unstoppable. Uh, our only saving grace is Giovinazzi is uh, is not doing too well there down in 10th place with only two podiums um, but he is uh, in a similar ballpark to Russell uh, with less than 20 points between them um, so hence why we are significantly behind in the uh, well behind in the constructors last race of the season Hatar is going to be um, double points uh, Traditionally not that good of a, a track for us, but um, we've got to get there yet. So, um, where are we in terms of parts? We do have our new engines, uh, although we're only using one of them today and they're not fully spec up upgraded as yet. Um, so actually, the, the Epic machine is, is actually worse than our average machine as it stands. Um, so we shouldn't really see a performance increase today. Um, but... Let's crack on and let's have a look. Um, let's go racing. Bit of rain in practice. Well, a lot of rain in practice, it says. Quite a bit of rain in quali. Uh, hopefully that might continue into the race as well. Um, let's see if we can't take advantage of some of the changeable conditions. Um, what we want is, is the people who go out on the wrong tyre ultimately in qualifying. And us to take advantage and some of the big names or big uh, six competitors to uh, to suffer okay drivers oh they said where are we singapore track a i still think this would make it a lot easier if, if uh, it defaulted to, to the race you were actually at singapore track a uh, that's charl um singapore track a that is georgie there you go, Georgie Russell. Um, I, I don't think we're going to worry too much about Inters. Let's set you off on a set of super softs. Or do we go with mediums? Let's go with mediums. Let's do the same here for Shaw. That. So you're off on a set of mediums too. Okay, let's go practice. Now I know that there is rain and, and there is water on the track, but it is only a little bit. Uh, and I don't think it's enough to really hinder us too much. We just want to get the and knowledge of these tire, uh, these um, tires and stuff up. There we go. How to go, Russell? This allows us to to go out on them. Now later on it's going to rain quite heavily by the looks of it, so we might not be able to do anything really about improving our knowledge of Inters. We are going to see how easily, yeah there you go, straight past us goes Vettel. But now the track's going to improve. There you go. Well, there's about a sixth of the track covered in water. Actually, they perform about the same. <coughs> okay, here comes Russell. Now, 
We would really be looking at Van Dorn to be going fastest, you would think, overall. Maybe a Bottas or a Verstappen. Stappen Kiwa managed to go faster. Okay. Clerk goes third. Immediately overtaken by Kiwa. Right, okay. So we're up to level two already. Are we going to get the level 3? I'm not sure we are. Probably got about two and a half minutes to try and get there. Here comes the rain. Actually learning anything about our tyres now? I don't think we are. So we might as well leave them out there and see what happens because we're not going to really do anything to affect our knowledge of wets. Um, I don't think we're going to get there on the mediums, but it could be close. We're all getting a trickling amount of. Uh, knowledge in inversely proportional to the amount of rain that's coming down at the moment um, are they going to get around oh there we go we've done it bring in and bring in now in the rain it is eight seconds slower per lap good to know here we go we're in the pits we did get our medium tyres and race trim to full knowledge. Okay, so we learned a lot about mediums, we learned nothing else about anything else, and we didn't even check that our setup was okay. <laughs> um, so, didn't really take advantage of uh, of practice at all realistically uh, let's have a, a quick gander in here fortunately they were both very happy with their setup right it is gonna rain pretty much straight away but if we go out we can get a fast lap in right okay um, let's actually change your setup slightly so what are you let's uh, give you a little bit more downforce just see what that does right current let's go um let's go quali so we're gonna send russell out first because he's the one most likely to be on the edge And then look uh, directly behind them. Right. Quick as you can, guys. And I think that'll be enough to get over the line. Well done. Just before... This is a small step and then a bigger step. Now, the small step's absolutely no bother at all. The bigger step is where we're going to start and not perform. Um, but we should still be okay at that level. Right. Now Vettel is going to be out in, in that area as well, so Vettel's going to be absolutely fine. Um, some of the others, Reikkonen, Verstappen, um, Bonas, possibly even Hamilton might struggle there. There goes Leclerc fastest. Vettel just ahead. Here comes the rain. 
Right, so people are now gonna start struggling. Ricardo, 2.4, Giovinazzi does okay, I think he'll be fine. It's whether anyone goes out at the right time towards the end on the right tyre. Hulkenberg, Mazepin. So Ferrari have done okay, Hamilton ninth, he should be okay. I think it's going to reflect the order they've gone out in, to be honest. I think we're going to lose five poor cars. Bottas and Verstappen. Verstappen knocks out Alonso. We need one of these guys to improve. And on, well. You want no Rundle? last right okay so in trouble are Raikkonen and Bo Ocon, Bottas and Verstappen and Alonso and Van Dorn now if we can get people going out on a on an inter or ideally if they can go out on a fast tire we're not going out again because not everyone is gonna go sixteen Alonso goes out gone out on an inter tyre so he might not improve. Kubica's gone out as well as has Brundle. I'm not sure Brundle's left enough time though. Maybe he has. 16, 18 and 19. Now 18, 19 and 20 have all gone out on the right tyre at least. Alonso's coming to the pit so Alonso's out right. Can we knock out Bottas? Verstappen? And Ocon. I think we can. So Bottas and Verstappen disappearing is nice. Here we go. Kimwa goes fourth. Bottas and Verstappen are out because Pubitz has gone in. Brundle's gone seventh, and that means Ocon's gone as well. Raikkonen, very, very fortunate there. But unfortunately, the two Ferraris have made it through. Okay. So we've lost McLaren, we've lost one of the Mercedes, one of the Aston Martins. We lost both McLarens actually, and one of the Haas. Okay. But we're both through. Let's go quality two. Didn't mean to rhyme, but it did. What about weather? Doesn't look like there is much today. Okay. So just in case, we're going to send Russell out on a soft uh, or a medium. And Leclerc. So if there's no rain during Q2 and there's no rain at the start of the race, we'll start on whatever tyre we qualify on. So Leclerc is also going to go out on a medium. Or do we do it on a soft? Because you're more likely to actually get there, aren't you? Let's go on a soft. Perfect temps for Russell. And here he goes. Perfect for uh, Leclerc as well. Now Russell is 0 0.6 down. And then a second down on Vettel. Leclerc, three and a half tenths down, uh, 1.3 seconds down for Russell, I think that's going to be the slowest, I'm certainly going to be in and around the slowest, 
Seven tenths down for Leclerc. That might not be too bad. If you can go inside Ricardo's time. Where's Leclerc? He does, he beats, uh, beats Ricardo. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So back in the pits. Russell goes in as well. Right. So Russell's definitely going to need to go again. And he's going to have to go on a set of supers. I think Leclerc might be safe. So we're going to send him on a set of mediums. coming so if there's no rain at the start of the race it's going to start on softs or mediums right. Um, right let's send um, Russell out at about 210 there we go stick on a set of soft supers and then set of mediums for the clerk Perfect temps for Russell. Good enough for uh, Leclerc. Okay. Russell, three tenths down, he improves as you would expect. The bit is improving as well though. Mazepin and Ericsson are done. Rundle doesn't improve, Russell does. The clerk doesn't, he's four tenths uh, down on first. Half a second off from Russell. Is Russell gonna out-qualify Leclerc uh, in Q2? He does, he goes ahead of Leclerc. Leclerc is seven tenths down. He's not gonna improve, which is a big shame. Um, a 12-2. So he doesn't improve. Would only buy a tenth. That is such a shame. Because that time would have actually qualified. So if we'd got on the mediums and done that time, we might have been, we would have been through. Okay, not to worry both into Q3 and actually it shows Russell is competing with Grosjean and Hulkenberg on that tyre that's pretty interesting he has benefited from a better engine um, but that engine is nowhere near maxed out right we haven't really lost anyone that we would have liked to so um, Q3 will be um, Mercedes, two Ferraris, two Renaults, two Williams and that last nice Martin as well. Red Bull. Yeah, it is Q3. Russell. Go. Cool. Cool. There we go, Russell Hamilton's going fastest. Hamilton does by three hundredths of a second. Six, seven tenths down for Russell. The clerk at the end of sector two. Slower than Russell. The Russell goes sixth ahead of Hulkenberg, Ricardo, and Duval. Not a mile off the of run. And Leclerc is 400 down on Russell. Wow. 
That was not expected. Here comes Russell into the pits. He's going to go again. There we go. Set the super softs on. And I set the super softs on for the clerk. We'll have about 20 odd seconds to spare. Doesn't look like anyone else is coming out. Raikkonen stays in in fourth. Which is interesting because Grosjean's not that far behind. And then there's Russell and Leclerc. Cardo not improved. Oh, he is. Second team. Russell doesn't get his temperatures in his tyres. Leclerc does. Right, okay. Uh, Hamilton is going to go faster again. Yes, he does. So Hamilton on pole. And we're chasing. Oh, Grosjean didn't quite pip by uh, Raikkonen. Russell's going faster again. So less than half a second down. Three tenths for Leclerc. Right, so Leclerc is the one that could possibly break top three. Probably won't, but could, in theory. Nine tenths down for Russell. I don't think Russell's going to improve. Only six tenths down for Leclerc. Uh, Russell. No, two hundredths of a second slower. Overall, Leclerc. Aiming at a 111.7. 11.6 would be nice. Here he comes. He does, he nails at 111.6. Wonderful. Qualifies in third. And he's going to be on a longer tyre unless there's rain. So it just gives us options if it's changeable. During the, uh, during the final, uh, during the final day, and it's raining. Oh, we don't get an advantage of, of getting over the line on the soft. Shame. Yeah. So I think we might try something here. I think we might actually try going out on the hard tire. Or the, the hardest compound. Anything we can get. Right, let's have a look at Russell. So I think we are going to try that. Now, we have got a um, choice of tyre. I don't think he's got enough tyre to get to the end of the race. Right. He's going to have four laps where the tyre just doesn't perform. Or at least three laps. But I think that's okay. I kind of want to risk it, but he's not going to make it anyway. Oh yeah. Let's go in there. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try that for Russell. Right, 
right. Now you could actually make it. Hmm. I think we might try it, you know. Tried for both of them. Right. Okay. I think we're going to change his knowledge from engine expert to medium. This could go disastrously wrong, or it could go well. Let's see. We got a weather warning. Yes, we want to try it. I actually think at the start it's only a little bit damp, so let's see what that means. Oh, someone's gone off. Bell. Bell has had a nightmare. Hot ass has also had a nightmare. So our drivers are going to complain about tyre choice very, very quickly, you would think. We're going to tumble down. So as long as we can stay within. 18 seconds of the lead. I think I should have maybe split my strategy a bit, but there we go. Right, this is where everyone gets past us. No, you're staying out on those. Three seconds in lap, two two seconds in lap one. And then seven seconds up. Ugh. I think we've done the wrong strategy, guys. Yeah, my mistake. Seventeen and eighteen seconds down. Two seconds down. So we're off the back. A few cars have now come in. Can we get out in front of them? Oh. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. We're still losing time to the front runners. Now everyone streams into the pits and I think we're going to come out if we're lucky top 10. Yeah, that has not worked out at all. Oh dear. To definitely split our strategies. Who's that? Who's on? It's had an incident. Okay, so the clerk's here. Russell is falling. The 
Turks took down in battle. Well, the Nazi is leading. Okay, so this is not good. So you've just got to hang in there, I'm afraid. You know, those out of the Stappen. Yeah. And now we're down in rank. Okay. Two and a half more laps for the clerk. I'm going to have 11 to go after this. There we go. <coughs> else is pitting yet. If they do, that's probably our only chance to, to do better. And we've had a mistake on the front right, which has cost us two seconds. But we're going to get out ahead of Russell. And this race has gone from bad to worse. So we need to get everyone in the pits on the inters ideally. We don't matter too much about the front runners. No one's coming in. Oh, someone has commit sir. One or two others. it has gone on the soft tyre, well that's not going to make the end, and Kuma has gone on the soft, so they're not going to make the end. Okay. Although they might actually, because it'll be medium soft and super soft, so yeah that might actually just about get them to the end of the race. the Nazis in the pits, he's gone on to, Reagan has pitted, he's gone on to medium, Joe Nazi has gone on to medium as well, but he's come out ahead of me. We are competitive now with about the top eight I think. Now, 
all the top runners are now coming into the pits. Trying to get past Grosjean. Well, ahead of Verstappen, who's on a soft tyre. Question is, can we get out ahead of Vettel? I think we can. Here comes Hamilton into the pits, he's got an issue. Uh, oh, he's doing some repairs by the looks of it, sorry. Uh, Vettel now goes through into first. Bottas comes into the pits and is stuck waiting of Hamilton. This is brilliant. So he loses a few seconds. He's all coming just ahead of Hamilton. So just ahead of Bottas. Uh, Now Vettel's probably just far enough to come out ahead of us as well. Might be behind Ocon though. So we're up to ninth. Really hasn't worked out at all. Oh, we're attacking Verstappen. Hasn't worked out. <coughs> Excuse me. Bottas is attacking us. Oh, Vettel did actually come out first. Wow. Bottas goes past Leclerc. Grosjean's going to need to come in. He does. And Russell is up to 11th. But he's under pressure from Duval. Right. Could do with a safety car. in a splash with uh, change tyres would be nice but no, no safety car it looks like 9th and 11th is going to be the best we can hope for let's put over tape mode on see if we can not get ahead of Verstappen tyres are going to go off as well soon Use high engine mode to keep up. Three to go. separating us from the top five to be fair but probably enough Ock on in the pits wonderful so we do move up in the tenth and ten. Complaining about tyre wear but can't help it I'm afraid. Um, can't even put over two mode on that car anymore. Oh that's just 
tyre is really struggling. So Russell's Ocon will be closing on him quickly. Leclerc is on a final lap. Can we get past them? Leclerc goes past Bottas into seven. And is now hunting down Verstappen for sixth. Not quite, what a shame. Russell grabs 10th. So, I don't think our gamble necessarily paid off, um, but I don't think it necessarily hindered us too much either. Um, so, that is where we are. Now, lost a load of points to Ferrari and um, Aston Martin there, and we lost some points to Mercedes. So, not good, not good at all. Ferrari, Mercedes, and Red Bull scrutineering. Esteban Ocon, two places. Well, he wasn't in the points anyway, so I don't see why that is a punishment. But anyhow. So Vettel steaming away in, in first now. And you would argue Ferrari may be doing the same. Mm. We need some good. One, two finishes. We need this engine to be up there. We need this engine to be the best. Okay. The usual. Uh, which one of your drivers is better, Charles Leclerc? Car repair complete. Uh, is Dixon going to retire? We don't really care. We don't need 100 grand to be fair. Gearbox is going to be ready just before the next race, but probably won't be uh, in, in good enough nick. Here we go, let's look at our car. Um, our brakes are what they are. So brakes are up there, front wings up there. box so what we need to work on. Right. Let's um work on that and that. Right, let's do it the sensible way. Let's take that off and leave that on. Right. Um, right, continue. One, two, right. That now comes off and it goes on to that one there. Right. And we push it there. Right. Now that's going to be 13 per day. So we want about three or four days of that. Is Charles okay? Uh, 30 on the ground, that's fine. One, two, three, four. Right. Current driver lineup is first rate. Good. Glad you're happy. Right. Okay, so. We do need another day or two of that. 
Right, okay. So we've done the gearbox, so that's it. Do that like that. Gearbox. And then you power gearbox. That one, that one, that one, and then okay. So, what can we do to reduce the time? Those there. Be particularly good, but it then opens up here where we can do ah, ah this one here. Um, but we could do that one there, and then we could get two gearboxes. Okay, let's uh, build that part. I think we're too near the end of the season to take real advantage of this. Really need to get some finishes in. Sponsors. Finished for the season. Let's have a look at uh, these parts. Someone's going to get that new engine. That's going to be the clerk. And that one is better. There we go. Parts are fitted. There we go. Right, so 15 races down. What's that? Six to go. Six to go. There is a huge gap in the drivers' championship. We really need uh, Ferrari to start really struggling, which doesn't look very likely. Um, and we need to start winning races. Um, no time like the present. Obviously, the last race of the season is double points. So we need to be uh, within a shout there, you know, but that, that's where we're at, that is where we are at. Um, end of this episode, please join me next time for um, our second trip, third trip, yep, third trip to the Black Sea, um, where previously we have achieved a third place twice. And Grosjean was also fourth and ninth. Uh, sorry, we're not Grosjean. Russell. Looking at the wrong line. Um, sixth. And seventh. So two thirds, a six and a seven. Right. We need to start winning now. Right, please join me then. Um, 
Thanks for watching. Bye bye.